Truth, peace, kids. Shocking number of frontline health care workers refusing COVID-19 vaccine. Peep the slang, man. Frontline health care workers are refusing to take the COVID-19 China coronavirus vaccine in large numbers, with Ohio reporting a 60% refusal rate among nursing home workers. In Southern California, anywhere from 20 to 50% of health care workers are reported to have refused the vaccine. Peep the slang. Two weeks ago, when the first vaccine were deployed, staff at Boston Medical Center held a video dance party that was posted online by BMC CEO Kate Walsh. Note, there are no reports on the refusal rate at BMC Boston Medical Center. Here you go to video here. Kate Walsh. Teams of people working to safely and equitably equitably distribute vaccines to their frontline colleague, colleagues getting cheered on by their friends celebrating the arrival of the vaccine a great day a great place they cut nothing Peep to slang. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine spoke about the shocking vaccine refusal rate at a press conference Wednesday. Excerpt from the Ohio Capital Journal. Governor Mike DeWine on Wednesday said that a whopping 60% of nursing home workers who have been offered the vaccine have refused it. Our bigger concern is the amount of staff who are not taking it, DeWine said. I don't have data in front of me. Anecdotal. But anecdotally, it looks like somewhere around 40% of staff at nursing homes are taking the vaccine and 60% are not taking it. Those figures are disturbing, not only because of what they might say about attitudes toward the vaccine among the larger population, they also mean that most staffers will be unprotected as they move between the outside world and nursing homes filled with vulnerable people some of whom will not be able to take the vaccine for medical reasons. Even so, DeWine said he isn't going to make anybody take it. I'm not going to compel anybody to do it, but I'm urging people to take that vaccine, he said. It's very important. The Los Angeles Times reported Thursday on the high rate of vaccine refusal among healthcare workers in Southern California, excerpt. They are frontline workers with top priority access to the COVID-19 vaccine but they are refusing to take it. At St. Elizabeth Community Hospital in Tahoma County, fewer than half of the 700 hospital workers eligible for the vaccine were willing to take that shot when it was first offered. At Providence Holy Cross Medical Center in Mission Hills, one in five frontline nurses and doctors have declined the shot. Roughly 20% to 40% of LA County's frontline workers who were offered the vaccine did the same, according to county public health officials. So many frontline workers in Riverside County have refused the vaccine and estimated 50% that hospitals and public officials met to strategize how best to distribute the unused doses. Public Health Director Kim Saruwateri said, the vaccine doubts swirling among healthcare workers across the country come as a surprise to researchers who assume hospital staff would be among those most in tune with the scientific data backing the vaccine. The first allocations of the vaccine made by Pfizer, Inc. and BioNTech arrived last week in Tahoma County, home to 65,000 people. Dr. Richard Wickenheiser, the Tahoma County health officer said 495 doses were first made available to health care workers at St. Elizabeth's Community Hospital in Red Bluff, but the hospital basically returned 200 back to us. The refusal rate among frontline workers was foretold in a survey of New York City firefighters released in early December that showed about 55% would refuse the vaccine via 
WNBC TV. More than half of the FDNY firefighters who answered an internal survey said they won't take the coronavirus vaccine once it becomes available to first responders in a couple of weeks. The union representing the New York City's firefighters said over the weekend, Uniform Firefighters Associated President Andrew Ansbro said on the 2053 firefighters surveyed in recent days, roughly 55% said they would not get the vaccine. Armsbro believes a large number of the firefighters resistant to the vaccine share concerns of trying a new vaccine or have limited information of its effectiveness. Peter Slang, man.